waking up, get out in the backyard and seeing this. Come on. <laughs> Welcome to Sweden. So I recently picked up this, the iPhone 13 Pro Max. And I was, I was quite curious because I was seeing a lot of videos where people talking about it and how good it is. So today I'm gonna test it out and see if it's as good as they say. So I was thinking I'm gonna head over to my favorite spot and give it a shot. I'm gonna try to shoot everything handheld. And I will be shooting everything from 24 fps, 30 fps, 120, 4k, 60 and I'm also gonna try the cinematic mode and let's see what it's all about and if it's gonna be a loud noise from the water is because it's actually been snowing last night and it's already been, I don't know what to say, tör. So there's a lot of water just everywhere pouring off. The house is actually an old sawmill and I don't know how, it's, how old it is, but it's, it looks like it's been standing here for a, quite a long time. That sign, it says warning. So the building can actually fall down. So <laughs> yeah. I. I would like to go in there, but I don't feel it's kind of sketchy. So it's kind of just a lot of things. That looks like some kind of a hook or something. Let's continue with the iPhone movie. And I was thinking I could give some, I don't know, tips or tricks that I use when I'm shooting stuff. So there's maybe something you can use. So one of the shots you always see in my videos, like I'm using it in every video, that is I am using the foreground to like slide the picture into something else. So before we are getting on to the next location, I'm gonna get the reveal shot, like a wide angle shot of like the house and everything like somehow from above. Ish. Somebody brought their couch to watch the sunset and yeah, I think they forgot it. <laughs> I just had to stop here because I want to show you something. I want to show you the view. I mean, there's the house somewhere, right? There. Waking up, get out in the backyard and seeing this come on i took a little sneak peek through the videos that i've shot so far and yeah i gotta say i'm quite impressed i have been using quite a few cameras if you don't have a budget of one of these kind of rigs then if you pick up one of these you can start a vlog any day sure bad light situations isn't that good but it's it isn't bad either and yeah sound could be improved but i don't know if you can get a better starter pack actually because it's that good Let's go down to the little scary house. It's, yeah, it's kind of scary actually. You don't know what's in there or has been there. Oh, it's kind of foggy down here. <laughs> Are you seeing this? <laughs> I mean, this makes me think twice of going in there. 
actually. Good little barbecue place. And another technique that I'm also using that is that I'm always like moving the camera a little at some sort of direction or backwards or frontwards. I'm gonna tell you another little secret that I always, always try to get if there's good light. You see that little thing right there in the corner? Always try to get some sort of flare shot because it always looks good. <laughs> I'm gonna call it for today actually because I'm feeling kind of satisfied of the outcome of this and so I want to get it home and start some edits. I have been seeing there's been a, a lot of new viewers actually on on the channel so it's super fun to see that you are watching my channel. So I just wanted to say thank you. Now I'm gonna go home and edit today's video. So I hope to see you in the next one. So take care and don't get lost, bye.